The story begins in Argentina, where we witness a group of teens going through bullying at a prestigious boarding school called Elite Way School. These new students are gathered in the main hall and asked to strip down. But before we see what happens next, the story takes us back several hours to see each of these kids getting ready to start school. We are then introduced to a girl named Jana, who is a famous singer and a social media star. Her father is a well-known music producer, and her mother is her manager, and both are extremely proud of Jana's success at such a young age. But Jana aspires to be more than a pop sensation and refine her musical skills to become a lead vocalist someday. To achieve this, she has decided to join Elite Way School. Her mother is also an ex-student of EWS and does not want Jana to leave her successful career to attend school. But Jana is adamant. In the next scene, we see a teen named Luca Colucci, who is the son of a wealthy Argentine businessman. He has troubled relations with his father, who prefers that Luca enroll in the business program at EWS rather than the musical excellence program. Also, his father is a prominent EWS board member who makes key choices on behalf of other members. Following that, we meet Esteban, who lives with his widowed father and has received a scholarship to study at EWS. He does not come from an affluent background and has turned down a position as a pianist at a prestigious conservatory to attend this school. As Esteban bids farewell to his father, our attention shifts to Dixon, a young boy from Colombia. He has also enrolled in EWS to pursue his dream of becoming a famous rapper. His mother struggles to hold back tears for her son leaving, but Dixon consoles her. Afterward, we are introduced to another newcomer, Andy, who is openly insulting her mother's new boyfriend in public. Lastly, we meet a girl named Maria, who is a devout Christian from California. It turns out that she's lied to her parents about EWS. She's informed them that she's enrolled in a religious music conservatory in Mexico City instead. As the newcomers arrive, a senior Brazilian student named Emilia welcomes them. She takes them on a tour of the school and goes over the rules and regulations with them. During the school tour, they visit an auditorium where Jana seizes the opportunity to play piano. Esteban is genuinely impressed by her skills and compliments her. The two then introduce themselves and quickly become friends. But soon after, Jana's boyfriend Sebas arrives and the couple is excited to see each other. It turns out that Sebas is the captain of the musical group and is also the son of the mayor. Afterward, the new students are assigned to their respective rooms. Jana, Maria, and Andy are placed together in one room, while Esteban, Dixon, and Luca are assigned to another. However, Luca becomes furious as he believes he's entitled to the privilege of having a room to himself. Following that, the principal informs the students about the upcoming Battle of the Bands competition. This contest offers a significant opportunity, as the winning band will receive an offer from a production company. Later, Jana approaches Luca, and it turns out that they've known each other since childhood. However, Luca is upset with her and refuses to talk to her. This is due to an incident at his aunt's wedding, where Jana tried to get him out of the closet in front of his family. Jana apologizes for the incident, but Luca thinks it is not enough and walks away. During lunch, Maria looks around for a place to sit, and Esteban waves her over to join him. They strike up a conversation, getting to know each other, and Maria quickly starts to develop a crush on him. Sometime later, Sebas goes to Jana's room, but her roommates say she's not around. While Esteban practices piano, Jana notices and compliments his performance. She then takes a seat beside him, and the two start to flirt while playing piano. Just then, Sebas arrives, searching for Jana, and he gets upset seeing them so close and comfortable. Later that night, while the students are asleep, a group of masked people arrives and forcefully pulls them from their rooms. Turns out they're part of the hazing, and they compel these new students to show off their talent to prove that they truly belong here. They then force the students to wear their uniforms and perform in the rehearsal hall. Jana is a little nervous, but Esteban gives her confidence and she begins to sing quite well, and the group performs wonderfully. However, moments after, one of the masked men accidentally knocks over some candles, causing a fire. Soon, the fire starts to spread rapidly throughout the school, so teachers rush in, guiding the students out of the danger zone. Following the incident, Jana and her group find themselves in trouble for the chaos that ensued. Although they explain that masked people force them out of their rooms at midnight, 
the principal refuses to believe their story. She announces that until they tell the truth about what happened, none of them will be allowed to participate in the Battle of the Bands. Faced with no other choice, Jana takes the blame upon herself, stating that it was her idea to sneak out and have fun. Hearing this, the principal informs them that the matter will be presented to the board during the meeting scheduled for Thursday, and her fate will be decided then. Until that decision is made, Jana won't be allowed to audition for the Musical Excellence program. The principal then tells the group to clean up the aftermath of the fire. Other students oblige, but Luca believes he's too good for this and walks away. While they're cleaning, Sebas approaches Jana with lunch and suggests that he could discuss the situation with his influential parents. Given their political power, he believes they might be able to sway things in her favor. But Jana refuses, saying she'll handle the situation herself. Later, Emilia notices Andy practicing the drums and praises her talent, which makes Andy a bit nervous. It's clear that there's a mutual crush forming between them. Meanwhile, Jana becomes worried about being expelled and approaches Dixon, asking for his help. The two then discover that the bullies turned off the security cameras that night. Jana claims that she saw one of the masked people injure their ankles during the commotion. So, Jana checks the infirmary records and finds Emilia's name. Since Emilia is also an ex of Sebas, Jana becomes more suspicious of her. Later, Jana approaches Emilia and compliments her shoes. She then tries to remove the shoes forcefully, but she gets crazier, and in the end, Sebas has to pull her away. Later, Dixon and she look for the fire footage and notice that Sebas did not leave his room. Dixon deduces that everyone who was not where they should have been that night is suspect. So, John approaches Sebas and tries to check his ankle. But Sebas is weirded out by this and is upset that she doesn't trust him. Meanwhile, Luca's father tries to entice his son to study business by bribing him with cars and money. However, it does not work, since Luca is determined to pursue music. Annoyed, his father then promises him that he will attend his audition. The next day is audition day, and Andy and Amelia flirt a little before the show. Meanwhile, Jana becomes emotional about leaving and writes her name on the wall while others follow her. She also makes another attempt to apologize to Luca for her past actions, but he ignores her. Soon after, Luca gives an amazing performance, but his father suddenly walks out in the middle of it. Luca then becomes emotional, and when he walks outside in tears, a student named Gordo bothers him by recording him. Luca becomes enraged, so he hits Gordo and snatches away his phone. While trying to delete the video, he notices that there is also a video of the masked men on the phone, and quickly sends it to himself. Meanwhile, Jana tries to go to see Esteban's audition, but Seba stops her in the hallway and apologizes. He then gives her a speech about how much she means to her and he would never do anything to hurt her. Despite his words, Jana remains upset and walks away. Meanwhile, Esteban gives a beautiful performance, though he's disappointed by Jana's absence. Once outside, Jana approaches Esteban, apologizing for missing his performance, but he says it's fine. Then, surprisingly, Jana kisses him and he kisses her back as well. Later, Jana learns that she is expelled and starts packing to leave. But suddenly, Luca approaches her and says he has come to help her. He reveals the video of the masked people, and together they approach the principal to share the evidence. As a result, Jana's expulsion is revoked, and she gets the chance to audition. Afterward, the principal confides in her assistant, revealing that the hazing was done by a group called The Lodge. The news spreads, and a warning is posted in the rehearsal room aimed at Jana's group, stating that they are now screwed. The following day, the group gathers to discuss The Lodge. Jana reveals that it's a secret society created by wealthy students to bully scholarship students at EWS. They aim to pressure less privileged students to quit, maintaining the elite's control. Luca surprises everyone by mentioning that Jana's mom was once part of the lodge, but Jana argues that it was many decades ago. Jana has decided to confront the bullies and force them to submit, but the others are not so sure. They eventually vote and decide not to take action against the bullies. Just then, Luca receives a message from an unknown sender, advising him he needs to make better friends. He tries to ignore it, but another message arrives informing him that he's being watched as well. 
Afterward, Sebas is joking with Amelia in the corridor, and when she slightly kicks him, he yells in pain. Jonna notices this and realizes that Sebas is the culprit. Later, she confides in Dixon about her suspicion, revealing that she's pretending not to know to get closer to Sebas and uncover the truth. Soon after, students start signing up for the Battle of the Bands. Andy then asks Amelia to join her in forming a band, but Amelia refuses, saying she's here to win and does not want to take a chance on a freshman. Later, Maria suggests to Andy that they form a band, although they're missing a vocalist. Maria says she wants to name the group 206 after the number of their room. The two then approach Jana and explain their plan to her, but Jana refuses because she's supposed to team up with her boyfriend, Sebas. Esteban then asks Dixon if she wants to form a team, to which Dixon gladly agrees. He then offers that they include Luca as well, but Dixon says that he is too arrogant and won't agree. For some reason, Esteban appears to have a hidden motive for getting closer to Luca. So, he approaches Luca and invites him to join the band, but Luca flatly refuses. Meanwhile, Maria and Andy are unable to find a vocalist, so they approach Esteban and Dixon and propose that the four of them create a band. Later, Luca learns about the newly formed band, so he approaches Maria and tries to manipulate her. He is aware that Maria is attracted to Esteban, who is only interested in Jana. Luca then tells her that she's far prettier and cooler than Jana, and that if she wants to date Esteban, she should go for it without hesitation. Meanwhile, Maria starts to wonder as to why Luca is suddenly nice to her. Later, when Esteban is playing the piano, Dixon compliments him and adds that with his talent, he can interpret bank card pins because each key has a distinct tone. This sparks an idea in Esteban, so he approaches Luca and asks for the notes that are on his laptop. While Luca unlocks the laptop, Esteban records the sounds produced and decides to use them to figure out Luca's password. Meanwhile, Jana is in Sebas' room, where he is trying to get close to her. However, she stops him and requests him to take a shower first since he has just returned from the gym. When he goes to the bathroom, she begins searching his room and eventually discovers the mask that the bullies used. She also finds contraception and becomes outraged. When Sebas walks in, she confronts him angrily for cheating on her. Sebas is enraged that she was snooping in his room, so Jana flees out of the room and he follows her while yelling in front of the school. Following a furious dispute, the two decide to end their relationship and leave. While this is going on, the principal begins questioning the students one by one, determined to find out who was involved in the hazing. Gordo claims that he was playing Fortnite at the time, but video footage proves he was the perpetrator. The principal then inquires about the other people involved, but he claims he did it alone, which is not true. Eventually, the principal makes a bold choice and expels him for his actions. With Sebas and Jana no longer a team, Sebas approaches Amelia to team up, and after some hesitation, she agrees. Seeing them together, everyone is threatened, and they think they've already lost the contest. However, Jana then joins her friends group and assures them that they're going to win. Later, while they're rehearsing, Luca approaches and asks if he can join them. Esteban accepts right away, although Jana is unsure. However, it turns out that Luca is being forced by the Lodge gang to join this group. Later, Emilia approaches Andy and asks why she's been avoiding her. Andy then confronts her about getting back with Sebas, who she believes is a bad guy. However, Emilia justifies herself by claiming that he has access to things that she does not, so he can help her. But Andy tells her that she's so beautiful and talented on her own that she doesn't need Sebas or anybody else to win the contest. Hearing this, Emilia feels emotional, and she suddenly kisses Andy. Meanwhile, Esteban finally cracks Luca's laptop password and tries to figure out what he's hiding. But when he's about to hack in, Maria shows up in the room and tries to express her feelings. Just as Esteban is about to close the laptop, Maria moves forward and unexpectedly kisses him. At that very moment, Jana opens the door and sees them kiss each other as the episode comes to an end.